from last summer for you. We sort of all know kind of what's going on and things, but this this year feels great. Um, real positive vibe about the place, and, and you look happy in your body. Yeah, yeah no, it's been a, a great pre-season so far. Obviously, only been back a well five six days now. Um, but it's been a really good camp. You know, we've worked really hard. Yeah. Come back. Obviously, uh, got some new signings, some new faces. There's a, a good buzz around the place, and uh, it's been difficult at times in certain sessions. But uh, no, it's been really good. I think everyone's excited for the season. Um, when we get back on Sunday, it'll only be a few weeks before that first game, so it's not the longest pre-season we've ever had. But um, you know, I think I think that suits us. We're we're working in the right direction. Hopefully, we can use the momentum from the end of last season to take that into this year. Um, and yeah, just keep pushing on. Does what it feel it? Sorry. What you built under Antonio, I mean, last year, I know there's a little bit of conjecture about his own position, but he's back, he's here, it, you know, it feels like a big season. No, it is a big season. Uh, I think obviously we made some, some big signings as well, some early signings, which is great. And um, yeah, look, we haven't, we haven't won a trophy in a long time. We haven't um, kind of been at the level that we know we can in the last kind of few years obviously we've done really well to get the Champions League spot last year and I think gave everyone a good boost around the, the whole club uh, to go and push on this season so uh, we've got that, that, that to look forward to but as always it's about working hard and uh, we've still got work to do from now until until the start of the, start of the season. Does it feel like with the new signs given the you know, Premier League experience with Charleston, Sumo and even Perisic being a winner that this might even be like and, and getting them in early the, almost the best chance to win that trophy? Well, I think, of course, there's going to be uh, excitement. I know there's excitement around the, found, uh, the fans, and, and rightly so. Uh, there always is going into any season, really. But uh, I think it definitely helps. It helps with preparation. Uh, it helps knowing that uh, these guys have been there and done it and got good experience in the Premier League or, or around best clubs in, in Europe. Um, and they're there to help. You know, We need a, a big squad uh, if we're going to compete at the highest level on all, all four uh, competitions. Um, and yeah, when you look at kind of last season, we were kind of getting down to, to bare bones, and uh, it's nice to, to kind of bulk up that squad with, with great players, and uh, there's great competition for places. How do you feel Antonio is taking your game on even further? Because you're obviously one of the world's best strikers. When we talk about the world's best strikers, there's like a couple of others that other people around the world might go, oh, Lewandowski. But remember in a presser last season, he said he can be the undisputed best striker in the world. Do you feel like, A, you can do that, and B, how is Antonio helping you compared to him? You know, Antonio's been fantastic, you know. I've learned from every manager that I've worked under. Um, but yeah, Antonio's probably taken uh, fitness levels to uh, another level for me. Um, yeah, men mentality, you know, being with him every day, seeing the way he prepares, the way he brings his passion and, and brings the best out of the lads, you know, I've learned from that. So uh, I feel like I'm learning every year anyway and getting more experience and getting better. Uh, but yeah, with someone like Antonio, it's kind of maybe sped up that process even quicker. So um, that's how I feel, feel in good shape. Still work to do for the next month uh, in this pre-season. But um, yeah, I feel like uh, I've still got a lot more to give and, and hopefully I can show that next year. Is there anything that he's done that you, you weren't doing before? Not really. I think he's just brought a real intensity into training, you know, every day. Um, yeah, like I said, every manager has different processes, different ways of training, different uh, types of kind of a week schedule. Um, and and, and Tony likes to work. He likes to be out, out on the training pitch um, for however long he wants to and, and make sure that uh, we're well well prepared going into, into each game. And um, yeah, I just feel like, um, you know, I'm at that stage in, in my career where I want to keep pushing, keep improving. And uh, yeah, it's, it was good to see kind of how my fitness levels changed over uh, that period when he when he first come in and um, yeah just just made me want to uh, continue that and then do as much as possible to, to keep improving. And anything you you and Son can learn each other? Do you think? No, look, Sonny, I've spoke uh, very highly of Sonny over over the years. We get on really well. Fantastic player. I think obviously our games and styles are, are different, but we really complement each other well. So uh, we're always learning, you know, new things. Uh, more so kind of how we can help each other not in terms of taking stuff from each other but uh, as always with great players you, you learn things every day just training with them so uh, really enjoying kind of our partnership and, and hopefully we can uh, yeah, strengthen it even more this year. About yourself, yeah, you, you are aiming Ellen Shearer's all-time Premier League uh, goal records I think and you can do that I believe and is there any your personal target or goal for Tottenham and for yourself? 
No, for me, it's just to have another good year, another consistent year, you know, uh, try and help the team as much as possible, try and score as many goals as I can. Um, and yeah, from a team point of view, it's always to, to win trophies. Like I said, there's a, a good buzz around the, the club at the moment, but as always, you've got to go out there and perform and, and show what you can do when, it, when it's crunch time. And uh, we haven't quite done that uh, over the years. So um, yeah, hopefully with this manager, with this, with this squad, we can really push on. And